So I've mostly finished my objectives for the day. I got one more left. I got to mow the grass. I'm going to mow all the yards. This hive, this hive, this hive all got Formic Pro. On the two big hives where you see the green lines, those are Emory shims. They're just a spacer that allows for the box to sit down over top of the um, pad and not smash it. On the middle one, there's two deeps where the original hive and I added a box on top and then the inner cover. Right now I have the spare box sitting over top of the inner cover. And my goal there was to give the third box because both boxes are absolutely full. And with the Formic Pro, it's really going to impact the bees, and that'll give them a place to retreat. I'm a little concerned that one pad in a nuke box is going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of outgassing for them. So, But so far, they seem to be okay. I, I don't see them bearding and coming out. It's a nice, cool day, so I think it's going to be a good time to do a treatment. This hive on the end was a little feisty. I don't know if it's because the weather is coming or I did something wrong when I opened them up, but they were pretty aggressive. Now they come from a hive that was super, super aggressive. So if they continue to show some form of aggression, I'm going to requeen this hive on the end. But I will tell you, it is absolutely full of bees. All of these boxes are so full and there's queen cups throughout all the boxes. Within the next week, queen cups will be populated and these hives would swarm. Now I'll be back next weekend to do a, some form of split. That's what I want to do with these hives. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go get the mower. Have a good weekend everybody. So didn't get a chance to post this video last weekend. So I'll give you a quick update. It's the following Sunday. It's raining, as you can tell. It's supposed to rain all day today. You notice the boxes on the end, the one closest to me and the one farthest from me, have one more box added to them. I was a little concerned about the population in these hives and whether they were going to swarm. So to relieve the pressure, I added a second deep over top of the brood chamber. I brought out two boxes, each of them with full comb, and I swapped every other frame from the brood chamber up. Kind of like a checkered board technique. The goal is to give the queen more room to lay, and in both of these hives that should relieve the congestion until I'm ready to make splits with them. I think you can tell I got to mow the grass. And I have to say before I shut the video off that that viburnum bush smells so good. <laughs> it uh, smells like a perfume factory out here. So that's the update of these hives. We can close the video down now.